Good morning. I thought today I would show you the little baby cactuses and talk about how to grow them and uh, propagate them. Now today I am going to be propagating the Crassula ovata cactus which is a succulent. As you can see the little babies are on this clip and then we'll go to the clip of the mummy plant where I got them from. You can see there there's one right in the center screen and then another one just coming into view. Uh, they are quite popular in oriental um, circles. They are known as the money plant or the friendship plant. So uh, what I will show you now is the big plant that I got the cuttings from. Uh, you, we've had it about six years, maybe more. We were very cruel to it at first and then, then we feeded it, repotted it and started to grow it on. And inspiration for growing this one bigger is from Dawn Ridge, the Tony Duquette property in Beverly Hills. I mean, what's not to like about being the glamour of Beverly Hills, the stage sets? So Dawn Ridge was my inspiration for keeping this plant alive, for taking cuttings and planning to let it grow big. These are pictures from the Dawn Ridge book which show how lush and green the foliage is there. So now we're back to taking the cuttings. <coughs> Pardon me. Now it's really simple to take cuttings from this plant. You literally are either breaking or cutting with a sharp knife bits of the plant that you don't want anymore. Now what I'm trying to aim for with the Tony Duquette thing is to get a big tree. At the moment I've just got a very small bush. Well formed but okay. So what I'm going to do is take off some of the lower branches and uh, try and propagate those. To bring form and function to the bigger bush because I want to grow that into a tree. That is my intention. And you know what? With gardening, there is no need to rush these things. We can have years and years. So, you know, I will be keeping it inside. Now, those pots, I showed you the price tag on them. It says $1.99 each. They weren't. They were on special offer at the uh, local garden centre. They were 50 pence each. And even though I have lots of terracotta pots, I just couldn't resist them because they're shallower and wider than the other ones that I have. So this is another picture from Tony Duquette's book, Dawn Ridge, and uh, shows all the lush plantings. There are lots of spider plants that he uses as well, but they're in the background and giving the, the whole garden some form is this plant, the uh, friendship plant. So what I'm starting with first is filling two of the plant pots. I don't want to go crazy. I just want to, you know, have a few ones that I can bring on. So I'm filling those with compost and watering them, getting it nice and damp first. And now I'm starting to cut pieces off the main plant. As you can see, just just the little branches that are low down that I don't want on the main plant anyway. I'm going to take off the lower leaves like that and then I'm just going to stick it in the compost. It's that simple. Now on other internet sites it will say leave those cuttings to dry out for a little bit first. Um, so we'll see if mine grow because really that's what they suggest on the internet. So anyway I'm working around the pot <clears throat> looking at the shape of the branches. I want a tree-like. I want my big plant to still look like a tree with a trunk and branches. So I'm having to decide what to take out. That's a really nice big cutting there. So I can take a number of cuttings off that one. In actual fact, with this plant, if I just stuck a leaf into the earth, it's likely to grow. So I am throwing away parts of the plant that I could actually grow on. But as I said, I don't want to have too many. I just want enough. Um, I think at the end of it, this, I want maybe a dozen or so tree plants. So, And then obviously stuff is plants spare to give to friends. After all, it is called the money plant or the friendship plant. 
It's often given to people as a housewarming present. Um, it's, it's so hardy, it survives really well in all sorts of environments when people forget to water it or um, forget even to give it much light. So here I am breaking off another bit. I mean, I love the way plants go in and out of fashion. And so what you will often find is that when a plant is out of fashion, they'll be for sale at car boot sales. Um, people will be advertising them on Facebook sites, you know, got a, got a um, cheese plant here. Does anybody want a cheese plant? Chucking out these shrubs, you know. And so if you just keep your eye on those kind of websites, you can probably go and pick up the unfashionable ones and keep them at home and they will come round again just like everything else everything has a season and the thing about succulents and cactuses it just makes you feel so exotic because they're not normally a plant you'd associate with the british climate so just a bit i like a little bit of exoticness i'm just going to have a sip of my tea pardon me so there we go I'm peeling off the little leaves. I mean, for the camera, I'm being quite, uh, what, what, how should we say? Usually I would have, have saved all, all the little leaves and planted them all as well, but I'm running out of space. So now I'm just taking off the lower bits off the tree, just to give it some more shape and so that we can see the trunk more. The older the, older the uh, plant gets the more brown the stem goes so you can always tell the new growth because it's got green stems and the older growth has got brown. I think you can see on the plant where I've taken previous cuttings from and it's left marks up the trunk. So I mean as I said I, I had already watered this compost so these pots are really moist and I'm thinking it's summertime I'm going to just leave them outside. I'm not going to fuss with them too much. Some of these cuttings may not take. I'm hoping most of them will. So I'm going to leave them for a full season uh, until the autumn at least outside. Water them from time to time. Um, and I'll keep you up to date, obviously, with how they're getting on. Obviously, as you can see, I'm putting more than one in a pot. I think I've got about five in a pot per pot. So that's going to be about ten. And you see the pot that I've got the big one in is a real tall, narrow one, which I think helps accentuate the height of the plant and uh, as, if, as if it's like a top of a mountain, really giving that mummy plant a good water as well. And there I am, I'm just putting a little bit more soil over the top of my cuttings now. I find that easier than pushing them right into the ground, into the pot, so that they've, so that they've got lots of joins in the uh, plant that's below the soil to hopefully put roots out. We'll be coming up to another picture from the Dawn Ridge book, which will show one of these plants as a tree on the left-hand side of the picture there. Can you see? That's what I'm aiming for. That is the kind of tree that I am aiming for. <laughs> and here they are the next day after spending a night outside. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.